What's going on guys? This is Kanast2390 here. Welcome back to the MLB 18 The Show roster prediction video for this upcoming Friday, June 8th. Now before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy the roster predictions or just in MLB videos in general, please hit that subscribe button so you guys do know when I go live every single day. And I did go out to Twitter and I asked you guys who are some players who could get upgrades or downgrades this week in Diamond Dynasty. I asked you guys to include one name per tweet. And I picked some of your options. I also put in some people that you guys didn't mention for this roster predictions, 10 names. Now, just to keep in mind, if a name that we think should get an upgrade or that you think should get an upgrade, there's only accounts for upgrades, uh, doesn't get it. Player of the Month is coming out on Friday as well. So if there's a player that I don't mention and you think he should get an upgrade, just remember he may get Player of the Month. I'm looking at you, Glaber Torres. But let's get into this, guys. Let's start this off. First up here, we have Andrew Benatendi from the first place. Boston Red Sox has a nice rank to it, and uh, at Pat's Nation PS4 just said Andrew Benintendi upgrade short sweet to the point. He's right in my opinion. I think Benny deserves an upgrade. I give him a plus two. He's been red hot in the month of May and early in June. He's batting 296, a 381 on base, a 537 slugging percentage, nine home runs. Now he does struggle against lefties. That is still a thing, but I say increase his power versus right, maybe even increase his contact versus right a little bit. And because his fielding is already gold, that will help him upgrade even higher. So I'm going plus two. I expect him to at least be an 80. I'm thinking an 81, though. As you see, if he gets a plus one in contact and a plus one in power, nothing else, he's a plus. He's an 80 overall. That's how close he is to gold already. So they barely have to touch anything to make this guy gold. So there you go. First off, Ben Tendi. Next up here, we have Gary Sanchez from the Yankees. And... XCash24 said Gary Sanchez gets a downgrade. And I was looking at his stats or his, uh, how he's doing this year, and he's been doing pretty lousy. He's in 201. I didn't realize it was that low. Twelve. He does have 12 home runs, which isn't bad, but only a 464 slugging. I mean, like Ben Attendee's slugging is a 537 just for a reference. Sanchez is only slugging 464. I see a minus two. They bring down contact, maybe bring down power a little bit. But I feel like San Diego Studios will want to nerf him. Like how they nerfed other players in the past. Because like everyone agrees Gary Sanchez is the best catcher in the game. And with them coming out, more and more cards are coming out. They want other people to try out the new cards. So maybe they bring down this Sanchez who is pretty affordable. A live series card so that future cards can have more value. But he's also not playing that well. So I think, it's, I feel pretty confident he'll get a slight downgrade at least. I'm saying minus two. Still a gold card. Still a beast. But a minus two. Next up, we have Eddie Rosario and... Trey Ricegraff said, Eddie fucking Rosario. He just hit three home runs versus Cleveland over the past week. He bat 430 something and on the year bat 317 with 12 or 13 home runs. It's 13. He has to go gold. He also has hit a home run on a pitch, a foot outside. He put his bat out and Oppo Taco. That is, that is the probably the best tweet at me for a. Reason why someone should get an upgrade or a downgrade. I don't care that he went like Oppo Taco on a or on a pitch or if it's like a foot outside. But the fact is he is playing great. He's hitting 317 for the year. He does have 13 home runs. And you can see his power versus left is only a 47. So I look to see how he's doing versus left-handed pitching. Well, he's hitting 300 versus them with a 550 slugging. So definitely increase power versus left in my opinion. I'm saying plus two. Let's make him a goal card. Increase that power versus left. Maybe increase contact or con or power versus right. 80 overall. Eddie Rosario is now a gold. Next up here, we have Garrett Cole from the Houston Astros. Now, Cole this year has been great coming over from Pittsburgh. He's using his four-seamer more than his two-seamer, and he's just blowing people away with it. And on the year, he has a 2.20 ERA. His whip is under one, a .83. That's insane, especially for a starter. Relievers can have a low whip. It's hard for starters, too. Uh, he's only striking out 12.78. I thought maybe increase. I thought his strikeouts would be higher. When I say only, that is really good. I thought it was actually going to be higher. Maybe I don't know. But I think they should increase hits per nine enough to make him a diamond. I say a plus one, 85 overall. Garrett Cole bring up his hits per nine to like a 73, 74. Boom, the dude's a diamond. There you go. I know you guys have been waiting for that. I think he finally gets it this week. Here we have Angelton Simmons from the Los Angeles Angels and. Keith Brown said, Angelton Simmons to diamond. Diamond emoji. And I agree. Simmons has been great ever since he's come over to the American League. He's always been an elite defender. I think his feeling's too low in this game, in my opinion. But 
I guess beggars can't be choosers. Uh, <laughs> though he's hitting 330 for the year. Now, he's not a power hitter. He only has four home runs. But he's hitting 330, which is really good. And you can see his conduct versus left is actually a little worse than right. So I saw when he's hitting for the year against left-hand pitching, it's 310. And just look at this. As you can see, he's a two-star on the... Um, Inside edge, he's a minus two on contact and power. He's still an 84, though, when it touches it, which means he's a pretty solid 84 in this game. So he doesn't need a big boost. If he gets, like, a plus five contact versus left, which I think is fair, he is then a diamond. Because of his elite fielding, he doesn't need to have crazy hitting stats. The vision helps. The contact will help. Angelton Simmons should be a new diamond. We have Aaron Nola from the Surprise Phillies and at RKO said, Aaron Nola. Ben lights out over the past two starts, only giving up three hits, four walks, while striking out 17. Only giving up four home runs on the year. Career low, lows in whip, ERA, hits per nine, and walks per nine. Lots of room for improvement on his card, which is only an 82. Not even crazy to put him in the diamond talks. RKO, I agree with you. Like, I was looking how he's how well he's doing. Obviously, you mentioned how well he's been doing for the year, uh, for the last couple uh, starts. For the year, a 218 average, a whip of only .93. Without, uh... I think I just said average for him is a 2.18 ERA, excuse me. And like I mentioned, whip a .93. As you can see, all his per nines are really right around 70, give or take a few. And I think you can increase hits per nine. You can increase home runs per nine. You mentioned he's not giving up many home runs. And there is a lot of room in this card to grow. I'm, I'm saying plus two, not a diamond yet. But like RKO mentioned, room to grow into that diamond. He could be a future diamond card. There you go, Aaron Nola for the fight fill. Here we have Bryce Harper from the Washington Nationals. And yep, I'm doing it. He's getting a downgrade in my opinion. I'm only going minus one because it is Harper. But the dude hasn't been that good since the first couple weeks. Remember how hot of a start he had this year? And everyone was thinking, oh, he's going to like hit 55 home runs, get that $400 million contract, which he might. I could still see him doing it. And he's still hitting home runs this year, 18 of them, which is still really good. He's hitting 232 for the year. His second percentage is only 527, which isn't crazy. It's good, but it's not crazy good. His on base is a 371. The dude's walking a ton, but he's not really hitting, which I think it part of it might be some frustration when maybe he's chasing some more pitches now because he's just getting nothing to hit, which maybe that's bringing down his average. I don't know, but his average is down. I'm not saying bring him down a lot. I'm just saying a minus one. Bring down that contact, especially versus right. I say don't touch the power. Still obviously a diamond, just an 87 overall. Here we have Scooter Jeanette, and at Selfers, 3412 said, Scooter Jeanette upgrade. Only way he doesn't, it's because of his player of the month. And yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, guys, keep that in mind. People may get some player of the month cards. But I agree, Scooter Jeanette's doing great this year. 342 average, second in the National League. We'll get to the leader in a minute. And he has 12 home runs. Just kind of, the last couple years have been really darn good for the Reds. And as you can see, his contact versus right is much higher than his contact versus left. So he's in 342 for the year. So I saw what he's hitting versus left-handed pitching. It's 377. It's like he's doing the 89 contact for left-handed than right-handed. Now it is a smaller uh, sample size going against left-handed pitching. But the fact he is doing well against it. So I would give him a plus two right now. There's room to grow on this card as well. But I'm saying plus two. Let's make him a 78. Kind of like what his inside edge is. And yeah, not a gold yet, but maybe in time throughout the year, he could go gold. We have Michael Waka from the Cardinals. Now, I didn't realize how low his overall was. He's only a 73. And Bailey Reed said a plus two for Michael Waka. 7 1 on the year with a 2 4 1 ERA, a 1.10 whip, and took a no hitter into the ninth his last start. Make him a silver San Diego Studios. I'll just say a couple things. First off, they don't care about win loss record, but you do make good points. And, the, and that he took a no hitter into the ninth. If I don't know of a starter who hasn't taken a no-hitter until at least the 7th. I feel like every starter this year has it's been the year of the no-hitter or the almost no-hitter. But he has been great. You mentioned the 2-4-1 year, right? A 1.10 whip. Now, he's not striking out many guys, but that's not really Michael Walker's game. But he is giving up a lot of soft contact. I say increase his hits per 9, increase his walks per 9. Let's make him a 75. Like you mentioned, he's a silver card, Michael Walker. We have Matt Kemp from the Dodgers. Now, Tyler said, Matt Kemp, he is leading the National League in batting average. Yes, he is. Slightly ahead of Jeanette, but he is. A 344 average, a 376 on base. He's not really walking a lot, but he's getting on base just high because of his hitting. 
He has a 572 slugging percentage, only nine home runs. I, you'd think a little bit more home runs with the slugging, but he's probably getting a lot of doubles, it looks like. But I could still see them increasing power, definitely increasing contact. I say plus two, a 77 overall. Now, his fielding is really poor, so I don't. it's going to be hard for him to go gold this year. He could. It's going to be hard just because he doesn't have the fielding to help boost him up. So it's going to be, or the speed, it's just going to be like, can he hit his way to gold? Maybe. We'll see. I'm saying a plus two, a 77. But there are the 10 guys that I think should get upgrades or downgrades. If you think I missed anyone, like I said, it could be a player of the month. Or maybe in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys what, who or why they should get upgrades or downgrades. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did. I'll talk to you later, boys. Take it easy.